So just another quick video based on a question I got. If you could add the recording time somewhere where it was readily available when just looking at, at the skin here, uh, so that you didn't need to go over to the master pane and down in the record broadcasting information down here uh, to find it. Because usually you're probably going to be on the audio pane, or maybe the video pane if you're doing video, or scratch pane if you're scratching. So uh, how can you just have that available at all times? Is that possible? And yes, it is. Of course it is. And you could, for instance, add it up here if you edit the skin. But in my little test here, I've added it to a custom button. So it's down here. So that's going to be the record time. So let's, uh, let's just look at the script that's doing it down here. And of course, that's going to be on the bottom name because it's going to be every show, right? So uh, let's go through that script from the back here. So the first thing it does really is get record time. And that'll just uh, grab the record time from Visual DJ since it's an action. But of course, if we don't uh, put uh, if we don't put something to it, then it will just read us a text. So we need to put in the little ticks so that Visual DJ knows that it's an action that it needs to execute. So that's the little ticks here. And then because that'll just give some uh, some numbers that may be a little hard to look at and figure out what 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 that is, especially when the record is not running. So I put in a, a little bit of just text. IEC for record, and then uh, then that really turns everything back into just plain text. So uh, to get that into something that's that's executing, I put it into quotes, and then use the get text action to to still have that running and and execute it. And because that's also just text, then I need to use an, another tick to tell Virtual DJ to execute all this stuff combined. So uh, when that is set up and, and done. That'll give me this rec, which is just the text, and then 0000, which is the recording time. And then, to make it easier on myself, then on the actual action, I've put in the action to record, just simply record. And uh, that'll uh, let me click the button to start the recording, which will also ensure that the button will light up uh, whenever the recording is on, so you have a visual of that too. So let me just start recording, and as you can see, Nothing happens, and that's because in my settings it's set up so that it won't actually start recording until the first the first sound is coming through the system. So let me try clean play. And as you can see, that triggered it. Now the recording started, and it doesn't stop just because I stopped the music because I might want to play something else. And another thing that you're getting is that if you hover here now, then you can see more information. You can see the size. You can see how many seconds it's been recording. And you can uh, see the the, uh, the recording uh, text, the name of the recording, the MP3 file. And then if I actually click the button to stop the recording, you can still hover to see some of this information. Of course, now it's not growing in size. Now it's just still. So it's a 37 um, seconds recording and it was 1.42 megabyte and it was called test14.mp3 so that's the information you have available and then of course it'll be placed in uh, in your user recording uh, dir directory which you can set up in the settings but this was just a quick video to show how you can add this information uh, to other parts of the skin like in this example on a custom button so it's always available to you